So as always, welcome my darlings. It's always lovely to see new faces and familiar faces as we work through our lovely little, little snippets of our yoga for witches practice. I thought tonight's theme would be really nice to connect to the energy of the waning moon. So the new moon will be upon us in a couple of days and we'll have the beautiful new moon, a time for dark and restfulness. And sometimes we feel our energy kind of wanes with the moon. Sometimes we feel our energy matches the moon, sometimes not. It's just something we can be aware of that if our energy is feeling a little low, or we do feel that our energy is waning a little bit, that that's not a bad thing. It is just like the moon. There are days when we feel more energetic and days when we feel maybe less energetic. And we can embrace that waning energy as a chance to be still, be calm, find some restfulness in our practice. So that will be our theme tonight how to embrace our waning energy with a, a very restful, calming practice. So what we'll do to start is we're gonna make our way to the earth and we're gonna lay upon the ground. Now you might want to be flat on the earth or you might prefer to have the knees soft, soles of the feet on the floor. You might wanna grab one of your cushions and bring them underneath the knees or underneath your head. So really whatever place upon the earth feels best for you, feel free to find that place. You guys will lay on the ground. I'll sit up again just so that I can talk to you a little easier. And as we settle upon the earth, we might want to close the eyes or just let the gaze be soft. And all we'll do here is just take a little time to arrive in our practice to bring our awareness, our attention and our energy to this space. So that might start with just setting aside any busy thoughts, any tasks or responsibility we've been carrying with us through the day. It might be a setting aside of some of the to-do lists we have for the week. As we allow the body to begin to settle and relax upon the earth, maybe we just take a little sweep of the body with our awareness. How's everything feeling today? Are we feeling restful? Are we feeling maybe that we have a little stress within the body? Are there any areas that we're working with of injury or tension that we might want to just be particularly patient or loving with today and just anything else we're feeling whether we are feeling a little bit of waning energy maybe we're feeling a little weary a little sleepy or maybe we're feeling quite energized maybe we're feeling quite calm maybe we're feeling quite joyful maybe we're feeling a combination of all those things mixed together which is very normal a rich tapestry of our sensations, our emotions within. And the lovely thing about just taking a little time to slow down with our practice is we can just listen, just listen to what comes up, whether that's ideas, thoughts, tensions, as we kind of let go of some of the noise of the day. It can sometimes just help us listen a little more clearly to body, breath and heart. So we've thought about popping our thoughts, our busy to-do list at the side of the room and just letting our body relax and maybe just listening to how it feels. And we can also bring the breath to a nice calm place as well, just by taking our time with the breath. So it's all about controlling the breath, but just letting it be really unhurried and easeful. So we take our time with each lovely long inhale and take our time with each exhale, slow and unhurried. So just really taking our time with that rise and fall of the breath. Just 
to practice yoga is to seek connection and union between these elements of our body body breath and mind bringing them all together within us so we're doing it right here this is yoga and if we were to do nothing else in our practice we would be having a beautiful yoga practice and it would be perfect just as it is and that's always useful to remember when we're feeling a little tired or we're feeling like we don't want to do certain poses or balances and, or something just feels a little too much for us on any given day. Yoga is what happens within. So it doesn't matter if you're not in the mood to do a certain pose or if something feels too energetic. By finding that connection within, we can connect to any waning energy, any gentle energy we want to connect to. Or just if we're seeking to be still, if that's enough for us, then that is perfect. And it's also a lovely reminder just to allow ourselves to treat the energy we have as precious. So even if we're feeling a little low on energy, we can direct it to the things that are best for us, that matter to us, that nourish us. So if you find yourself in a pose that you're really enjoying and I take us on to the next one, then feel free to stay in the one that you enjoy most or even to come into a different pose, something you just feel drawn to do. Because your energy is precious and sometimes we have to, to choose where we send our energies, choose where we send our intentions. So that's always useful to practice as well within that realm of listening to our body and our energy. just from this restful place in your own time what we'll do is just gently bend the knees and pop the soles of the feet on the floor so we're soft in the hips we're soft in the knees we may be aware of our spine especially the low back settling a little further into the earth And then from here, what we'll do is we'll just let the knees fall to the right and the gaze is going to fall to the left. So we're just coming into a little supine spiral twist for the spine. The arms can be any way you like, so you can have them wide on the earth, if it feels nice to have them resting on the body, whatever feels like a good place for the hands to be, feel free just to let them find their restful place. As we settle here, feel free to listen to the body if you feel that you could do with extra support under the knees or in between the knees. If it feels like it's a little tender on the low back, there's lots of options for bringing in support. from here we're just going to journey the knees over to the left and the gaze to the right so we're just going to gently journey over to the other side there is no rush bring in any support you need take your time to make the transition no rush no hurry
From here, what we'll do is we'll just gently bring the knees and the gaze back up to the sky. So we're just coming back to center. Beautiful. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to draw both knees in towards our heart. So we're going to create a little, a little tuck, a little ball. And you can bring any movement in here that you like. So if you feel like you want to wiggle the toes or you want to circle the knees, feel free just to bring any intuitive movement. Just bring any little wiggles or wobbles. Lovely. So from here, what we'll do is we'll take both hands around our right knee. So we're going to draw the right knee in towards the heart, and then we're just going to extend the left leg along the ground. So it's either going to be restful along the earth, or if that feels in any way too much for your hips, feel free to be soft in the left knee instead. So we're just hugging the right knee in towards the heart, we're just giving a little squeeze towards our center. And then from here, what we'll do is we'll just take our hands around the back of the right thigh so that we can extend through the leg as if we're shining the sole of the foot up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. And again, you can take your time here to find what's comfortable. You might want to be really soft in the knee if the back of the leg's feeling a bit tight. You might be happy to extend through the leg. You might want to wiggle the toes or circle the foot. You might even want to slide the hand up further towards the ankle or the foot to make the stretch stronger or to bring the hand lower towards the hips to make it more gentle. So lots of options. You can move, you can be soft, whatever feels good as we just enjoy that nice stretch through the back of the legs. Just finding that comfortable place within the pose place where we can feel the stretch, we feel the sensation, but we also feel that we can breathe and we can be restful, a little peace in the pose. And then just to come out the way we came in, we're going to soften through the knee. And we're just going to hug it back to the heart for a moment. So we're just going to give it a little squeeze in this. Lovely. And then we're going to swap it over. So let's extend the right leg along the ground and we'll draw the left knee in and we'll just give it a nice squeeze towards the heart to start. And then when you're ready, once again, hand goes around the back of the thigh and we extend through the leg in our own way. So bring softness in if you like, bring movement in if you want to wiggle the toes, circle the foot. Enjoying perhaps a little stretch through the back of the leg. And maybe just that nice sensation of taking the weight off the feet for a little bit. And then once again, coming out the way we came in. So we soften through the knee and we just hug that knee back towards the heart for a moment. Lovely. 
So from here, what we'll do is we're going to draw the right knee back in towards our little hug. So we're going to draw both knees back in towards the heart. Lovely. And then from here, we're going to draw into a happy baby. So we're going to take the knees wide as if we're tucking them in towards the armpits. And if it's comfortable, we'll shine the soles of the feet to the sky, taking hold of outside edges of the feet or toes. If that feels a little too much, you can always take hold of your ankles or even the back of your thighs. And you can be here in stillness, or if you want to, you can just take a little easeful rock and roll. So we just find a little space in the hip and a little settling of the spine, the muscles of the back upon the earth. Finding our restful place within the pose for our peaceful minute. Lovely. So from here as we release the feet, we're going to hug the knees back in for a final time in that little tuck, in that little ball. And then from here, we'll release the soles of the feet to the earth once more. So we're back with those soft hips, soft knees, that little restful place upon the earth. Lovely. So from here, we're gonna come into our little fetal pose or our recovery pose, I often call it, where we just pick a side and we're just gonna to roll to one side as if we were in the recovery pose. And you can bring an arm or a hand underneath the head. Or you can draw one of your pillows over if you want to bring a little support for the head. So really whatever feels most comfortable. You can draw the knees in a little towards the body. So really nurturing little pose as we settle on one side. We're going to do both sides, so don't worry which side you start with. And just a nice place with that easeful breath. We often think of the front of the heart and the chest and the tummy rising and falling with the breath. The lungs expand in 360 degrees, so the side that's shining up towards the sky right now, those ribs and that shoulder, they expand with the breath. The back of the body expands with the breath. And then one side is just expanding towards the earth, finding a little solidity, a little support. Again, no rush, no hurry. We're just going to journey that pose to the other side. So we might just kind of come to our backs for a moment and gently roll over to the other side. You can bring the cushions in. You guys are going to go to the other side. I'm going to stay on the same side just so I can still see you. Beautiful. Take your time. No rush, no hurry. Now it's the other side of the body that is gently expanding towards the sky. It's 
very instinctual for our bodies when we feel stressed or tired we kind of draw in into these small shapes so it can be quite comforting if we feel a little overwhelmed by our day or we feel a little low on energy just to just to draw in as well as that symbolic nature of drawing our our energy reserves, our love, our attention, and drawing it inwards for ourselves, giving ourselves a little chance with some of that beautiful love that we so freely share with others. This is just a little symbolic drawing in to let ourselves have a nice piece of that love, that attention, that awareness. So once more, we're just going to gently journey back to our backs. So we're going to bring our hips and our shoulders back to the earth. We'll keep those soft knees for a moment more. If you had any cushions supporting the head, you can leave them under the head. We can get rid of them, whatever feels better. What we'll do from here is we're going to bring the soles of the feet together and just let the knees fall out either side like a butterfly. If it's comfortable for you to do so, we can mirror that shape with the arms by taking the hands overhead and letting the elbows fall out. If for any reason that's not comfortable and your shoulders, feel free to rest the hands upon the body or wide on the earth. A lovely passive opener for hips and heart. Once we've found our restful place within the pose, we can just relax, let gravity do the work. And then from here, what we'll do is we're just going to extend the legs straight along the ground and we'll extend the arms along the earth above our head. So we're making a long line through the body as if we were trying to reach both sides of the room at the same time. Feel free to point the toes or wiggle fingers and toes if you like. So anything that feels nice, just have a nice long stretch through the body.
and then keeping the hips and shoulders still restful in the earth we're going to come into our little crescent moon shape so we're just going to slide our hands to the top right corner of the mat and our feet to the bottom right corner of the mat so we're just creating a very gentle crescent moon shape still restful in the earth as if I've just come along and dragged your hands and feet over a few inches. It's just a gentle stretch through the side body. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So we're just going to slide the hands and the feet over to the left side, or whatever's the opposite side of you now. Again, just creating that gentle curve. So we're just going to come back to the long line and we're just going to have a final little stretch out through the body in any way that you like. So you might want to wiggle fingers and toes, you might want to spread out like a starfish, you might want to have a little shimmy through hips and shoulders, whatever feels nice for you. And when you feel ready to do so, what we'll do is we'll bring the hands alongside the body and we'll take a moment to get ready for our Shavasana, so our meditation time. So for you, this might be to cover yourself in a blanket. You might want to put socks on or a jumper. You might want to have a sip of water, whatever it is that's going to help you feel most restful. So most often we do our meditation in Shavasana, which is laying down upon the earth. If for any reason you prefer to do your meditation seated, you're very, very welcome to do that too. So whatever feels like the most restful and supportive place for you, feel free to give yourself a moment to find that place. There is no rush, no hurry. So as we settle upon the earth, we finish our practice as we started. Maybe we close the eyes or let the gaze be soft. Once again, this idea perhaps of letting go of anything that we may set down for a few moments or anything we no longer need to hold on to. As once more we draw our awareness inwards to that easeful rhythm, that rise and fall of the breath. Beautiful breath can be our point of focus as we draw our energy, our attention and our awareness inwards. But we can also use the breath as a guide as we settle here into this place of peace. So 
So it may be with each inhale, we envisage drawing in a little peace or a little calm or a little love. And with every exhale, we can release, we can breathe out anything we'd like to let go of, whether that's a tension or tightness in the muscles, tension or tightness in the mind, a sound of distraction, or any new idea that pops into the head. Every exhale is an opportunity just to let go, even if it's just for a moment. So it might be that as we exhale, we take a little sweep of the body. Perhaps we envisage that we're exhaling any little tensions or weariness in the feet and the toes and the ankles. And we're exhaling the muscles of the legs and the knees and the kneecaps as they soften and calm. the muscles of the hips and the tummy, calm and easeful. And we relax the muscles of the chest and the heart as they move with ease through the rhythms of breath and heartbeat. Relaxing the shoulders and the muscles that run down the back. Softening through arms and elbows, wrists and hands, all the way to the very tips of the fingers. Releasing the muscles of the neck and the jaw. And finally, the little muscles of the face around the eyes and forehead and very top of the head. As we allow the whole body to relax and release from the tips of our toes to the top of our heads. Just allowing the noise and busyness of the world to fall away for a few precious minutes. As the time approaches for the next new moon, perhaps in our mind's eye, we envisage ourselves seated on a very comfortable chair, wrapped in a very warm blanket. This chair is outside in a space of green and our toes gently rest on soft green grass.
from our very cosy, restful seat upon the soft green grass. We are gazing up at a very beautiful night sky. It is the new moon, the dark moon, the darkest time of the lunar month. Because of this darkness, maybe we see a few extra stars in the sky. Maybe the beautiful sweep of the Milky Way. Sparkling gems dotted over a beautiful velvety night sky the deepest and darkest blacks and blues and indigos. And perhaps we can simply enjoy this time of darkness as a time to pause time to rest, a time to see, a time to listen. Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise in perfect light, for I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful 
of the night. So my beautiful stars, perhaps the next inhale is just a little longer, a little deeper than the last. Maybe you wiggle fingers and toes or make any luxurious stretches as we begin to gently bring our awareness back to the room and back to our day or evening. With eyes still closed if you can and with no rush we'll gently bend the knees and pop the soles of the feet on the floor and we'll gently roll to one side back into that little yogi recovery pose just for a few breaths just so you don't up too quickly. And then from here again, eyes still closed if you can. Let's just gently draw to an easy seat. So it doesn't matter which way you're facing, you can bring blankets with you if you like. This is just a little moment to pause before we leave our practice and move into the rest of our day, or into the rest of our week. This little pause, this little liminal space between our meditation, our practice, A moment to hold a little bit of that stillness, a little bit of that darkness of the new moon. A little quiet, a little space within which we may plant seeds of intention for the month ahead. Where we may notice things we may set down or set aside or set free. The darkness of the new moon invites us to just take that pause, take those reflections. A chance to, to see within in the darkness. Just to finish our practice, let's take a nice deep inhale. We're just going to sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, reaching tall. We'll bring the palms together and we're going to exhale the hands to heart center in prayer. From here, we can gently open the eyes and to ourselves and each other, we say namaste. Namaste, my darlings. The light in me honors the light in you and the darkness in me honors the darkness in you. So may your dark moon time be beautiful and restful and peaceful. Thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. As always, if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, feel free to drop me an email, say hello anytime. So for the rest of today, I will send you my love, go forth and have a beautiful day and a beautiful week. Thank you so much for joining me, my darlings. Goodbye for now.